What's happening, fam? James Incognito here. Yes, sir. So check this out. We got leg day today, man. So um, I want to show you guys how I do my lower body stretches for today. So basically, we'll hit our hamstrings. Uh, we're going to hit our uh, piriformis, our glutes, uh, front side quads. So um, basically, I'm going to put you guys through a simple stretch routine that you guys should be practicing it all the time. You know, so if um, you guys are working out every fucking day, then you should be stretching every day. So for today, we're just gonna focus on our lower body extremities. We're not gonna do any upper body uh, extremity stretches, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, we're basically just gonna start with a high box and a basic hamstring stretch. So make sure that all of your stretching is at least 45 seconds. If it's not 45 seconds, you're not allowing the muscle to rest or relax, and therefore you're not getting any kind of stretch whatsoever. So let's start off super basic, heel on the box. I'm gonna start a timer right now and uh, Y'all want to follow along? Let's go. So, it's gonna be a slightly different video for us today. Usually, we got our cooking videos up um, and vlogging videos, but for today, um, we're gonna do some stretch, and pretty soon I'll be coming out with some workout videos too, like some chest isolation workouts, some back isolation workouts, uh, leg isolation workouts. Um, but for today, we're gonna keep it basic and just keep our stretch on. So a lot of times when uh, you're not stretching for longer than 30 seconds, you're really not stretching much. You're just kind of pulling and tugging on a muscle. So if you can go longer than 45 seconds, that would be great. 60 seconds, 90 seconds, two minutes, we're up. All right, switch side. And a lot of you guys, your mobility is gonna be horrible. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna really be able to uh, Maybe straighten the leg out all the way, or you might get a gnarly pull. Maybe you can't hold for the whole 45 seconds. Just start with what you can do. You know what I'm saying? So uh, once you start practicing a little bit more often, it's going to be so much easier. And uh, you'll be way more limber. You know what I'm saying? Some of you guys are probably going to wonder, well, what, what's the importance of stretching? Why, why are we stretching? Well, every muscle has an end range to it, you know what I mean? So it, it, it can be stretched to a certain capacity. Now, if you don't practice that capacity, then that stretch, it, it ain't gonna happen. You know, you might end up pulling something. So being tight, you're, being, you're, you're, you're super tight, you know what I mean? All right, guys, so that was basically our backside of hamstring. So now let's just go ahead and stretch our, uh, our, our piriformis, basically your glute, glute muscle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just get my uh, foot, up on this box, and it's gonna look just like this. All right, so the goal is to try and get the knee down to the box. Don't force it down there. I can force, ugh, you know what I mean? But um, just leave it where it is, and then naturally, as you keep practicing, it should start to drop some, you know what I mean? But in the meantime, we're just gonna leave it right here. This is one of those where, um, if you don't have a high box, you can also do it from the floor. So for today, we're just gonna do stretches this way and then you guys can hit me up with some comments or questions and uh, we can do some other specific uh, floor stretching. So again, bro, if you work out every day, man, do stretch every day, bro. Take 10 minutes out of the warm up, five minutes, you will feel so much better. One side's always a lot tighter than the other, too. So let's go ahead and set the other one up, all right? Ooh. This side actually feels a lot better. It doesn't feel so bad on the back side. So again, we're basically just trying to stretch backside glute butt on the side that's up. So it's my left side. You can lean forward some if you want to. I kind of like to lean forward sometimes, not all the time, but as long as you're getting a pull on the back side, you're good. All right? This is one of the, I hate doing this one, but this one, again, you'll notice you will start to get better if you practice it on a regular basis. 45 seconds, not that hard, right? All right, so that's 45 seconds on both sides. Let's go ahead and uh, get our hip stretch in. So we just got done finishing backside hamstring 
and glute. You know what I mean? Uh, now we're going to focus on front side. So for front side stretch, I like to set one knee down. And it might be better if I do it this way. So we're going to set right knee down. Push right hip forward. Try and squeeze right butt as you hold. So again, start my timer up. 45 seconds. Boom. Now you guys, also, if you're working out um, and you don't have an iPod yet, bruh, the iPod is a fucking lifesaver, G. So I'm recording from my phone right now, right? That's what the camera's recording from, and I can control music from here. Otherwise, if I just had my phone, then uh, it would just be, I wouldn't be able to have any music. Got music in my ear, hey, I'm happy. <laughs> and we got the timer going, you know what I'm saying? So go ahead, push that hip forward, stretch front side quad, squeeze back side glute, five seconds. Boom, good job. All right, so let's switch side. We're gonna do that again. So now I'm gonna set my left knee down, right? And uh, push forward. Let's go. Now on the hamstring stretch uh, for the box, if you don't have a high box, or a chair, you know, you can always just put your feet together and reach down. Um, I'll show you what the other stretch, the piriformis stretch, the one that stretches the backside when we did it off the box. We can do that one from the floor too. Although it hurts more from the floor, so it's a little harder to get into, but definitely doable. Yeah. All right, so almost there. Time, got him. Good, so now we're gonna go back to that opposite knee I was on a second ago, and I'm gonna straighten my leg out for a hip and hamstring combo. Let me adjust the camera so we're good. All right, so right knee's down. Right knee down, left leg is straight. All right, so. Try and, ha ha, yay! All right, hold this thing for 45 seconds. Y'all ready? Hey. All right, so I feel definitely big pull on my calf up front. Love it. Hamstrings getting pulled, hips getting pulled. Oh, I can't wait to get out of this position, bro. This shit, bro. All right, halfway on the 45 seconds. Ooh, wait. Bro, get into your positions. Huh. 10 seconds. Try and relax the best you can. Got him. Careful getting out of the stretch, too. You don't want to pop out of that motherfucker. You want to be slow. All right, so let's go left, left knee down, right leg. We're going to straighten them out. Just like so, clock reset, and uh, hold that position, all right? Ooh-wee! All right, so again, I feel my right calf pull. I feel a hamstring pull. So backside is pretty gnarly on the straight leg side. And uh, on the hip side, I'm definitely getting a, a nice pull right up front, which is what we should be feeling. Got him. Very good. All right, so uh, pretty much last one for us for today, because I said, like I said, we're gonna keep this super simple. Um, let's go to that piriformis stretch. So that's that stretch that we want to get on our backside. We can also do it from the floor if you don't have a high box to go from. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my right foot directly underneath me, just like so, all right? And then I'm gonna try and straighten my le right leg behind me. So. Hold on. I think the stretch would look better if I'm this way. Grab my timer. Yes. 
All right, so bring your foot out front, just like so. Get your leg back. And uh, this is fucking, this is hard to do, bro. So from this position, do the best you can and hang forward. 45 seconds. This one's really hard to do, bro. You're technically the leg should be out about 90 degrees, bro. I'm nowhere near that. See how the big angle I got? So ah, this stretch sucks. But as you can tell, it's one we should be doing. Ah, 15 seconds. I fucking hate this stretch. See, it should be closer to that. God damn. Oh, careful getting out of it. Good. Let's see what the opposite side looks like. Probably not gonna be that much better. Huh. Oh, this is all I got on this side. This is horrible. I can't even get this down. Ew. Well, that's where it is. So we're trying to get shoot for the leg out in front, 90 degree angle. Oh, I never started my clock. This side's tight for sure. All right, guys, so like I said, leg day for the day. It doesn't have to be leg day for you to stretch every day. You could stretch lower body every day, which I recommend. So that's gonna be our lower body stretch for today. Uh, we will work on an upper body extremity stretch next time. But uh, in the meantime, thank you guys for watching. Um, now I'm ready to go do my cardio, lift, or my legs, whatever it is I came here to do. So remember to stretch. It's definitely a key component to your fitness. If you guys have any questions or uh, any comments, leave them, leave them in the comment section and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, so uh, in the meantime, let's get swole, baby. Yes, sir.